Hello everyone, once again, this is Noah with Save Green here. And as you know, our channel is dedicated to giving you tips on saving you money. And occasionally we will do some reviews on phones and wireless plans that can save you money. But today, we are going to talk about water conservation. And if you go to Google and put in the phrase up here, average water and sewer bill, you'll get this right at the beginning. That on average, us Americans, we pay $104 a month for electricity and uh, about $70 a month for water. This is based on the average person using between 80 to 100 gallons of water per day. This is recent folks, this is June 21st, 2018. So put, to put that into perspective, let's say you have uh, a shower head that runs about three gallons per minute. When you take a 15 minute shower, you just wasted 45 gallons. So you're about halfway from this figure here, just on the shower alone. Now, let's say you have a sink in your bathroom. And here's another thing, now that we're on the subject of sink and water. Uh, for some reason, we just like to hear water running. As a society, we like to hear water streams, waterfalls, etc. So that's probably the reason why when we brush our teeth or wash our face or use water in general, we just keep the water running. We keep the faucet open. But if you had the mentality that when you're doing that, you're actually, let's say, coins were coming through there, you probably would shut it. Let's say dimes, nickels, and quarters. So we already calculated about 45 gallons in showering, but let's say you, in the morning, you brush your teeth and wash your face, you use about three minutes, and your flow is about two gallons per minute. So that's six gallons there in the morning. If you repeat that again at night before you go to bed, that's another six gallons there. You're now up to 12. And then in be between the day, washing your hands every time you use the bathroom or doing the dishes or running uh, your clothes washer. And here's another one too, your toilet, two and a half gallons per minute. Let's say you flush the toilet about five times a day. That's 12 and a half gallons. So you can see how the figures start to amount 45 and six and then six again at night and then 12 and a half and anything in between. You're going to be about 80 to 100 gallons of water per day. This is very accurate. So what can you do for very little money to cut this in half? So let's say your average family spends about $70 a month in water and sewer. Yours might be more, yours might be less, but let's just use this number, 70. And we were to go 70 times 12 you are at $840 annually in water and sewer. So let's say you can cut that or save 55%. You would be saving about $462 annually just by cutting the amount of water that you're using to, like you see here, 55%. You're almost cutting it in half. So you would cut that bill from 70 to about 35 or so. And this is how you do it, folks. And I just ordered this. You get yourself a low flow faucet aerator. And for example, on my sink in the kitchen and in the bathroom, I'm running two gallons per minute. This aerator here will cut it down to one gallon per minute. So I would be cutting my water consumption at the sink in the in the uh, kitchen and in the bathroom in half and then you can also look into a low flow shower head that will cut your flow at the shower head as well but just like they tell you here and look at the price folks this is really cheap dual thread aerator and this is another thing that you also want to look into make sure it's a dual thread aerator meaning that it'll have a thread on the outside and on the inside because if you don't know exactly what kind of faucet head you have you would be left with the wrong size so you want to make sure it's a dual thread and it's telling you it's going to save you in water and energy now you might ask yourself how can I save energy by changing a water faucet 
aerator. Simple. Whenever you're using hot water, and let's say you're running the hot water in the winter time when you're brushing your teeth and washing your face, let's say you're running two gallons per minute, and now I'm going to cut it down to one gallon per minute. That's one gallon that my water heater does not need to heat up. So give me a thumbs up if you like that as well. And of course, being that it's low flow, you're going to be using less water. But another uh, key thing here is you're also saving energy. You're using less electricity or gas if you have a gas water heater or electric, if you have an electric one. Now, if you have a tankless water heater, and you can look at some of my videos that I've already done on tankless water heaters, both electric and gas, same thing, folks. You're going to be using less electricity or less gas on your instantaneous water heater as well. So, with a few dollars, if we go back to to our calculator with a few dollars you can save I don't know three four hundred five hundred dollars a year and all you did was spend a few bucks on Amazon getting a low flow uh, faucet aerator down to one gallon per minute now I have been told that if you go less than that let's say 0.75 or 0.5 you're not going to be happy because it's like almost no water coming through and then some tankless water heaters will not even activate on the hot side if you don't have at least one gallon flow on the sensor inside the tankless water heater so one gallon per minute is about right and you can also do that on your shower head so what I'll do is I will post a link and this is what uh, Amazon calls uh, Amazon's choice meaning that it's been rated and Amazon recommends it there are different kinds out there but this is a really good one and the brand is Neopearl, I guess. That's how you pronounce it. And you can see it here. And I will also, I'll tell you what, when I get it in the mail, I will uh, do a quick video on how it goes installed. So what I'll do is I'll post that video right after this one. Thank you for watching.